Alright, welcome back. This is Lofted Gaming. I'm August Rush 95. I'm here with Throne Crusher 54. Hey guys, how are you doing again? Uh, this week we're making a video completely for trials. All Destiny. So, get ready for this. We have a couple matches that are going to be on screen for you guys to watch. Uh, both wins. Uh, for as usual, for the first match, look at that snipe. Damn. I mean, yeah, you wouldn't report, you wouldn't be showing this if it was a loss, but exactly. uh, yeah, but they're, they're gonna be wins. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna show some matches. Uh, we're gonna break down gameplay. Uh, but a couple main topics we're gonna cover are how to gear up for trials, how to get ready, and then the second portion is gonna be how to prepare, uh, how to prepare for trials in terms of strategy. Yeah, so I'll let you guys know already, August knows so much more about this, and he does a lot of practice in elimination, and uh, just gearing up for trial, so you'll probably hear him speak a little bit uh, more than I do tonight, but either way, I'll try to ask some questions, make this a little interesting. And we'll have some zombie videos coming on the way, I can't can't wait to start that, when we're both playing, that'll be I'm, I'm excited, that'll I can't fun. wait. Alright, so the first thing we're going to go over is gearing up for trial, so armored. Now... As we all know, if you're a fan of Destiny, or maybe you might not know, there are items in the game called exotics, which are weapons or pieces of armor that are so good, you're only allowed to equip one at a time. So I think a real key feature <coughs> of the exotics in this game is knowing which one fits for which scenario. I just right. got sniped right there, I was playing badly. Nick, uh, August wasn't really wearing the right exotic right there, so that's why he died. <laughs> exactly. exactly. So, for Trials, some people prefer big pieces of exotic armor that'll boost their grenades, or boost their void kills, or shame. art other stuff like that. I prefer, and I recommend this to everybody, is the Quick Revive gear. There's a chest piece for the Hunter, a chest piece for the Titan, and a helmet for the Warlock. And they essentially are really good pieces of armor to wear to boost the team. They boost an extra orb of light when you use your super, which helps other people charge their supers. And you get quicker revives, which in this game mode, is probably one of the most clutch things. Is to be able to sprint by it. Literally without even having to stop, you can just hold the X button as you run by them and go revive. So, it's a really key thing, especially, like I said, in game mode, for trials, where your teammate, your team is literally your lifeblood in this game mode. Yeah, a few seconds can really uh, make the difference between winning and losing the match, uh, as I would seen from experience. Uh, but, August, uh, you know, how do you how do you get these pieces of armor? I mean, there's, not only can you just gain it from random loot, but, uh, uh, can you earn it from Zer? Yeah, so you can either watch this double snap here, quick, quick moment, folks. Double down. Proud of that. <laughs> uh, right there. Uh, Enemy team eliminated. So exotic armor, how to obtain it? There are a lot of different ways. Sometimes it'll randomly behind. drop, especially if you're doing a raid. If you're a raiding type of player, some people aren't. Some people just can't find a large enough team. Another way is to purchase them from Zur. And even if Zur, who is, like we said in the last video, the weekly merchant that comes in and sells exotic armor and weapons, even if he's not selling quite what you're looking for, he sells an object called the Three of Coins, which I think is a really cool innovation to this game that came out with the Taken King, and it's basically uh, a consumable that you can use right before a match or right before you kill a boss, and the next ultra or next large boss you defeat with a skull next to their name or the next crucible match you win, you have a chance to obtain exotic gear. And that's, that's crazy, you know, because some Crucible matches can only last two minutes, and you can get in there and earn an exotic piece of armor without having to do that much. I think you gave me that tip. Uh, I was I was going really hard on a uh, the strike mode, uh, strike mode, and uh, you I bought so many three of coins it really did help. On the last the last strike I had, I got the match. Uh, a three hundred level armor, and I was so happy. Exactly, it's you won't get them that often. I'm not gonna lie, that right, Bungie right. is not that nice. But I will say that. Best way to use them, uh, this is coming from me and my clan, basically kind of, one of the best ways to use them is, should have gotten that kill right there, is to use them one at a time. Don't, don't burn them, don't use like 10 at once. If you use 10 at once, the, the effect 
Uh, it says it's stackable, but that refers to after each boss you beat and don't get an exotic while using one of those, it gives you a better chance the next time you get an exotic for the next boss. So, so you don't put 10 down at once. You no. put one down for a boss, and you don't get it after the sh uh, killing the boss. Then you put another one before the next strike exactly. or whatever you're working on. And it's that's the stackable effect. A lot of people are confused. Some people would buy like 50 of them and burn them all at once and not get anything. And there's nothing worse because strange coins, which Heavy is what you found. use to purchase items from Zur in this game, are really hard to find, honestly. They can be rare, so... Well, maybe you Zur was just trying to take my modes of light. So. Exactly, exactly. You don't want to waste anything. So, another thing is, pick some good weapons. So know your gear, and the, one of the biggest flaws I see people make, one of the biggest mistakes is, they have weapons that only fire slow. You'll see somebody with a scout rifle and a sniper rifle. You need to have a mix. You need to have a weapon that fires fast, like an auto rifle, or a pulse rifle, or a hand cannon, paired with a sniper, or a shotgun. It's some people can pull it off, but whenever it gets down into it, if it's if it's somebody with a beat a multi tool up against somebody with the last word in those quarters, the last word will win every time. So while the long distance weapons that are slower and do more damage can be effective at a distance, this game mode you're gonna get your hands dirty. You're gonna get in there, it's gonna be dirty. So you gotta be prepared for things to not go your way, and it's best to have a weapon that can adapt to the situation. That makes a lot of sense. I, it's probably it really does matter on uh, your your gameplay, uh, your style of play. That's that's what I'm looking for. Exactly. And what you'll see me using is I have the quick revive chest piece for the hunter, the exotic piece on, and I have the last word as my exotic weapon because the hip fire of this gun is not good. <laughs> Crazy good. Almost unfair. Well, have you take it, take advantage of everything as possible. I mean, exactly. this is a unforgiving game mode. Yes. There you go. We just won that match. So, dance off. Exactly. So another thing to be really aware of is to go into your class and kind of change things up. Make sure you have your armor stats where you want them. Make sure your agility is where you want them, and be ready to play to that style. Don't go in there with heavy armor and no agility and expect to run around. You know, be ready. Uh, to be slower, but be more of a tank. So, another thing is excess points and categories, which is where you have too much discipline or too much intellect, like I was referring to in our last video. You don't want to overdo it because the points don't count for anything past a certain. Alright, so now preparing for trials. This section we're going to kind of talk about strategy. Team. This team that you see on the screen, uh, one of my teammates <coughs> is in my clan. That's him right there. He was away from his controller right now, so I'm trying to kind of nudge him away. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> I, to, I love they can do that. Exactly. I'm trying to push him out of the way. But I end up wasting time here, so we, we lose this first round. Quite embarrassing. Thing. Down. They beat us. Up. They beat us on position, and of course they took out my clan mate immediately. <laughs> that shade step, though. I mean, yeah. that was that was just worth it. That's another thing I was saying earlier. Know your class. Set those different abilities. Shade step is one of the abilities. You don't have to have it. Was eliminated. I know one of the options you have instead of shade step is you can crouch and turn invisible. That's another good one. So it all depends on your playstyle. Just set it to how you want it, and then be ready to use it. Don't your team don't set behind. things that you don't want or don't use and. Really evaluate yourself when you're playing. If you don't use something, change it up. Try something new. Yeah, I, I like how you choose uh, the type of, type of grenade on your class because it just sends out that pulse. Exactly. And so if you're not if you're not sure who's over there. You know, there might be a couple enemies, there might be no one. But once you send that grenade, Eliminated. it heightens your uh, chance of survival. Exactly. Another reason uh, that I picked those grenades is because they're instantaneous. I used to play with smoke as a trap, where you'd throw it against a wall and it would blow up when somebody walked by. Your but now I behind. throw it just because it's an instant sense, an instant uh, source of damage, and the flames, while unpredictable as a grenade, 
very hard to control the direction. There we go. There we go. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. I wasn't paying attention right there. But yeah, so the source, the grenades are unpredictable, but they're a great source of immediate, uh, immediate damage. So very clutch. It's all about the timing. Like Bone Crusher said, seconds matter. So, a couple quick tips for how to play Trials. When you get in there, once you set up your gear. Number one, communication. You're gonna, you have to form a fire team. This event does not match make. So you will not be able to play the match unless you have three people in your fire team. It won't set you up with randoms. So knowing that, invite some people. Uh, I know that if you go to the Destiny app on your phone, you can find the LFG section where you're looking for a game. And you can find a bunch of people always ready to play on there. It's also a great way to meet new people and potentially join a clan. And invite those people to a party, communicate with them. Not literally, necessarily, but if you want, sure, why not? A trials party. Hey babe, text me. Yeah. Uh, no, we're just playing we're just playing Destiny. <laughs> the next thing is to know the map. This is kinda hard because the map team is behind is picked randomly each weekend, but if you play enough Crucible, you're gonna get to know these maps really well. And you wanna know. That's such a huge advantage. You wanna be able to communicate effectively to your team where people are on the map. Guardian. And you wanna be able to say exactly where somebody's headed, or exactly where you died or your teammate is down. And the only way to know that is to play Crucible a lot. That's the only advice I have. Throwing knife. I hate that. Throwing knife will get you too. Blade dancer? Uh, gunslinger, I believe. Okay. Yeah. yeah, like I said, I pretend like I know what I'm no, talking that's... about. <laughs> Do you think that the blade dancer would have I mean, it only says blade in there. I, he I, doesn't have the throwing knife. Like, whatever. Ammo on the way. Uh, another thing, know your tools. Know how your weapons work. Last word, I know I have to get up and close and personal. I know my best chance is to overwhelm a player by getting right in their face and trying to find me. If you have a scout rifle, don't run in there blindly and go point blank. It will not end well. <laughs> You're gonna die. You're that type of player just playing from behind, you know? Uh, get, get behind cover and then... Which if is, you're a good shot, take exactly, that shot. Which is fine. It's better to have one person hang back and be ready for revives. I think you'll see somebody using a sword here, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. You're the last gun in the fight. Let's see if I clutch this, I don't remember. No pressure. And like we said the other day, stay close to your team. You know, not too close to where a rocket can take you all out or a super wipes you all out, but close enough to, yeah, an unexpected death which does not completely ruin the room. You don't want to have one guy, uh, Golden Gunner, shut down. <laughs> nice. Enemy team eliminated. You don't want to be across the map from somebody when they die. That's the worst, because then the entire team is three versus two, and they can just camp that orb. Uh, like we said yesterday, use your super wisely. Nothing worse than going in and wasting the super because they're hard to earn in this game mode, especially if you're not the one that's getting kills on your team. Yeah, don't be like me and use your Titan class and just throw the hammer of soul every which way and not hit anybody because exactly. it's, it's you embarrassing. Gotta, you gotta time it. You gotta be effective because otherwise there's no point. And another thing that we don't really talk about that much, and some YouTube gamers talk about, but not really to any large extent, is the heavy round. And it's usually on the fourth or third, third or fourth round, and heavy ammo will spawn in. And you guys need, as a team, to decide whether or not you're going to go for both and try and disrupt and the other enemy teams and get their heavy ammo, uh, or just go for your own and play it safe and see how it turns out. Because heavy ammo is really the deciding factor. But one thing you do not want to do is have everybody charge to the Match enemy point. ammo, heavy away. ammo, have them get it kill the people that got it, and then have somebody, their last remaining player on their team, steal yours while you're not paying attention. Oh, I see. And then it's three versus one, but they have a rocket launcher. And, and <laughs> you can shade step, but there's, you can't really shade step. So you can't shade step <laughs> a rocket shade step launcher. A rocket. You'll see me try a couple times, but it never really works out. Uh, so this is, a, this is actually a good question. No one's ever played Trials uh, before. 
if you get the heavy and you don't use all your ammo, does it transfer to the next round? It does not. That's good that's, question. That's, a lot of people use rockets. I think it's you'll see me using machine gun, but I think personally, I change it up to rockets every now and then. Rockets are a one trigger pull, pretty much an instant kill as long as you don't miss. And if it's a machine gun versus a rocket, you're gonna tie. But if it's a rocket and you're good versus a machine gun, you're gonna win. So it's up to you. I prefer the machine gun in regular crucible, where not everybody on the other team has heavy ammo. This is right, right. Because right. then it wrecks, you know. But uh, the rocket launcher goes, you know, depending on which type, and then each type has a different splash damage. But I know that plays a factor into it. Exactly. If you do come across that, uh. That, that one fire team that happens to be all bunched together, yep. go ahead and get that triple kill. Oh, yeah. Kill. There's a, and record it. <laughs> Save that, because that, that's some epic shit right there. Another thing you'll see me do is at the end of every round, even though the round ends, I wonder if I clutch this. I'm just watching. You got a revive. I don't think we- I think we lost this match, yeah. Ah. Uh, that's alright, as long as you're leading the team. And, what I was saying is at the end of every round, go for special ammo. Those boxes will have spawned in by then, and those transfer over. And ammo transfers, so... Yeah, so those are just some quick tips for trials. You know, get your gear set up. If you have any questions, hit us up in the comment section. Uh, if you have any opinions of your own, feel free to share those as well. If you like my voice, let me know. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, but anything else to share, August? No, I think that's. I think we covered pretty much everything. So let us know how you guys do in trials. Let us know if these tips work, and yeah, we'll see you around.